G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Where are we today, McDaddy? Now we're at Wangaratta, at the uh, Wangaratta Caravans and Marine, mm -hmm. and we've just come to have a look at the 2022 Lumberjack Seville. Uh, it's got a price at 44,990 drive away. So we'll have a quick yeah. look at this uh, Seville. It's uh, supposed to sleep full. Supposed so to. Let's have a quick look at it. Look at it, right here. So here on the right hand side of the Lumberjack Seville, um, we've got the roof racks up, up high. Yep. We've got the light towards this cupboard. Now on this side we've got the input point for your 240 volts. And we've got our trip switches here. Okay. So just open this cupboard, which is lockable for transit. And this will be where your hot water heater will go. Okay. Pop that open, there's your cold and hot. So your cold water will come in, the hot water will go out. So we come round this side. So here's the kitchen area. Again, we've got good lighting coming down. Nice clean sink area. The hot water water's come through. Here's your 240 volt. Yeah. Power points, and we've got a bit of covered space. That's that's quite deep, really. Quite reasonable. Yeah. Hmm. Quite a good depth. So we've got six covers running through, and uh, we also got lights at the top here as well. So that's, that's quite nice and tidy. So look underneath it here is yep, that access water, to the, the water tank there. We've got the gas. Bayonet fit in there. Yep. You can see we've got on each side we've got double shocks, which are the pedal shocks, and a single coil, uh, recovery points on both sides, and a wind down stabilizer legs. We've got more hot and cold water access over the back here too, McDaddy. See if I just pan in here, you can see got two more access points there. Yep. Yep, hot and cold, so that'll be if you have an external shower somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Like a week. Yep, and on the left hand side of the uh, Lumberjack Seville, we've got a. Uh, it's like an awning, pretty good. That comes up. We've also got this compartment here. You notice you've got to have this leg. Screw it in. Do it first. <laughs> right, live here. So this will be yeah. our, our kitchen area. So screw that in, just for height. Done. So we're going to make sure it's right. Supported. And oh, looks, I thought it would come the other way. Okay. Oh, that's different. So come up this way. We've got the wind collectors. See, so it's the hermetic system they've got in here. Yeah. And two burner in that one, is it? Yeah, it's a two burner with the piezo electrician, okay, gas on, sparky. So down here we've got a bit of a compartment. Yeah, utensils and things like that. Yep. Okay, we'll shut that, we'll fill up. The light will shine right onto the cooking area, which is good. What's the light like? I know some of these are, um, are, are pretty good. Scott Colin here is just going to give us a bit of a, a chat about uh, this Lumberjack uh, Seville, Seville uh, and tell us what it comes with and yeah so it's a nice little compact little family van so bunk beds in there. Yeah so. you've got uh, room for four you've got the kind of double bed there. There is. Plus it's the two yeah. bunks which is good nice compact real Correct. Um, and all the other stuff that comes with it it comes with a hot water service so I think it might be inside but that's a shower stand for your hot water service. Yep. As well. You just put whatever fridge you've got at home and put in here. Correct. Because this yeah. doesn't come with a fridge. Doesn't come with a fridge. Okay. Yeah. It's your choice. Yep. Yeah. You throw it in. Yeah. And they'll, they'll fit up to a 95 litre dual zone fridge in that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Heaps of room in it. 
Um, we do supply two gas bottles with these as well. They do come from a factory like this with number. It will supply two nine kilo gas bottles full. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, that's a diesel heater tank. Diesel heater, so that's all we've got to do. Di diesel already heater heater heated. Um, the chassis, is that galvanised? It is, yes. Yep, that's yep. good. And we'll see you've got the DO. We, we put DO35 on all DO35? of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they come through to us. Yeah. They don't come standard with the DO35. Yeah, I don't think many of us are, are, are popular. Many of us don't like those uh, standard poly blocks. I think they're you know, utter rubbish, but each to their own. So. And you've got the XO, yeah. Is that a 750? 750, yep. Off road, which is good. Yeah. Adjust the height. Yes, you can adjust the height, which wherever you park, you can adjust it to get it on and off. Yep. A lot of your normal standard ones, you, you've got to chop them up. And yeah, we've had that, uh, we've done one of those videos on how difficult it is actually to get a camper van off one of those standard jockey wheels. It's a, it's a blasted nightmare, but people will argue the point, but we don't like them. But yeah. So you've got your diesel here, that tank there? Yep. yep. Stone guard on the roof. Stone guard here. Yep. Yep. Put the, the stone padding on the front. Yep. Just to stop any deflections. And it just gets rid of the glare that yeah. you're driving. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah. good consideration. So you've seen your, your video that I've seen you do. Yeah, that's status. pretty good. I quite like your steps there. The dual step, yep. yes. You just sort of pull it up. Just yep. pull it out. Yep. Yep, so it's nice. It just makes it easy for anybody to get in and out. You got the storage underneath the bed. Quite a good setup in there. So this would come for a, a double bed. Is that a sprung mattress or a foam mattress? Foam, foam, foam mattress. mattress. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got a sprung one. You get, get that yourself. Get a custom made. Of course. Yeah. You can. What's the What's the advantage? I mean, obviously the weight saving for the foam one. It is the weight. Um, but a lot of the old timers, I suppose, be wanting something more sprung, wouldn't they? So it's up to them to talk to you. Yeah. Now the other thing I noticed with the kitchen was that it's it's uh, opening from the opposite end to what we expect with other types of campers. Is there a reason for that or? So, so the actual the actual stove oh, setup, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that's um, I think all of them I've seen open from that side. Is that just to stop crap and stuff getting into the? Uh, well, we, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's easier for the kitchen. Yeah, yeah okay. So you're cleaning yeah. up. That's yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you're seeing with the bar on me to hold that yep. up. So. Yeah, I really like the the kitchen setup in this. I think it's. It's right height. The rear door is a new design. They used yep. to be a swing open pipe. Oh, right, okay. Yep. So they designed this just for more shelter. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, great idea. Yep. The bag awning, as you see up there, it comes with it as well. So that's uh, 90 degree or 180 or 270? That one should be uh, 180. Okay. Yeah. Without opening it through So. Yeah, that's so. More storage yet again. No, it's good. You've got the light in there, you've got everything set to go. Uh, with your power, no, is that just. Um, 240 volt? That's 240 volt when you plug into like a caravan. Like Same you thing. Plug your external in, you yeah. can run 240. Doesn't have an inverter. Right. You can run inverters through them, but then you'd yeah. probably have to upgrade your batteries. Yeah. Right. So okay. you've yeah, got a 12 volt system through here at all? It certainly has. Um, it should have. Oh, it's locked. So you'll have a battery in here. Yep. Um, probably easier to show you in. If it's open. It's just the bigger. Sorrento's got one battery in here, with the charger. Alright. Oh, yeah. Seville will be the same as trip switches underneath trip switches there. Are there. That'll, that will be the same way, it'll have the, the one battery set up. It's better than have a battery charger all sitting there wired up, so as soon as you plug it in, yeah. charge it. And there is option, obviously, if you wanted to get dual battery installed, you Correct. just ask to do it, There's yeah. There's yeah. there, we've done yeah. that. Um, we actually did one last week. Okay. Yeah, the dual um, lithium batteries in it. Yeah, I think people are starting to find that more popular as they get more affordable, aren't they? Yeah. Um, now, just the, you've got the roof rack on the top. What's yeah. the load rating of the roof rack? 160. Okay. I'm pretty sure 160 kilos. That's static, not dynamic, obviously. Yeah. So that's yeah. enough. You put a rooftop tent and two adults in there. Okay. That's a really good idea to think about that, yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Have a look inside. Anything worth noting inside that's... Have a look around it. Just from 12 volts on. You've got 12 volt access. Plugs yep. everywhere. Yep. Just here you've got 12 yep. volts. You've got another 12 volt plug here with your radio. They do put a little privacy curtain up there for the, for the kids. I can see that side across there, you've got the, the vent. Yeah, yeah. With a, that vent's got a fan in it. 
So there is an option to put air con on that sort of stuff. People really want to blow money, but uh, or too hard. No, we haven't gone that far yet yep. um, with air cons because you have to remove one of the hatches, and then if, yep. then yep. you've restricted, you can't put anything on the roof. Of course, yeah. yeah. So I noticed in here you've got the uh, the, the gauges for your uh, water and your sockets and everything else. Yep, all your power function from there, turn on and off. You've got the um, radio CD player by looking at. Yes. More, two more 12 volt sockets. What's this little switch around here? Is this your diesel heater thing right here? Isn't Correct, it? yeah. That's the diesel heater control panel. Alright, so that's your the diesel heater. And... Space in this as well. They've made heaps of so they've used every every little nook of cranny to put some covered space. Yeah, that's nice and finished. Yeah. More sockets over there, lights. How deep are they? We've got that monitor over here as well. We might not be able to see it. Is it is there, yeah. So a monitor here where you can hook up your iPhone to watch your DVDs or, or whatever. And some more light switching there. Yeah, you've got the two, the two bugs. Door. You've got some drawers on here as well. Instructions. I see you've got a good, uh, got good manuals in that there as well. Yeah, that's how they come to us. Uh, all the manuals are all uh, available. Comprehensive, not like some of the other brands we see, which we weren't meant to mention, of course. Yep, off the bat there. LED lights. So that's got a uh, um, screen and a privacy screen. That hat. So if you pull the little screen over on each side. Oh, yep. Uh, the ones here. Yep. Yep. So one's a block out, and the other one, if you go the other way, is a, um, a fly screen. Alright, well, I'm not going to force things along now, just leave that. That's got a little leader there. Rock off. Okay. Okay. So these weigh a tear of about 1400 kilos. Correct. Uh, ATM of 2000 kilos. Yes. And uh, you've got a sag here, a payload of 450 kilos, a table weight of 220. Yes. And it sleeps all the time. It's ticking all the boxes. Good little off road family net. Nice and compact, so yeah, yeah, it's terrible by a lot of vehicles. Oh, a fair few, yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter, you don't have to be off road, off road. Oh, you, that's right. You, you can have your average Commodore or Falcon Wagon, not a lot of them will tow it. These people that like to go down by the riverside and go fishing, or yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Someone um, can't for the night. And what's the uh, so if you put an order in for one, what's the turnaround? for actually getting it delivered? Seville at the moment are around that four to five month plan. Okay. Um, now, warranty on these? Warranty is three years. Okay. I think it covers everything. Right. The new series two ones. All the series two will have, this is a series one or two. Okay. What's the difference between a series one and a series, series two? Series one is mainly the suspension. So okay. Series one's got the full Chinese import suspension. Yeah. Where the series two is an ARV chassis upgrade. Okay. So everything's ARV chassis underneath it. Yep. But the chassis is still still built in China. The chassis is still in China. Yeah. It's just the suspension side of it. So okay. the swing arms and the brakes and stuff. Okay. So some of the usual upgrades people want to do this obviously is the, is the batteries. They want yep. probably a fridge included. So these bunks that are inside this, could you have those removed and put to something else, or why would you? I'm just sort of... Yeah, no, just sort of we sort haven't gone down that track. Yeah. Um, look, they can do anything. Most of the times it would be more than anything. It, when the build stage, they just yep. wouldn't put the top bunk in there. Yeah. And you can probably get the cabinet to put cupboards in there if you want to yeah. have something a little bit bigger than the Sorrento. Yeah. yeah. So they've sort of designed this more for families. That one is for families, but to put a rooftop tent on. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people don't want to put their kids younger kids up yeah. the top ten. Yeah. As they start getting teenagers it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So with this one they've got a little bit more comfort for everyone. So this is it's not monocoque construction, I gather it's all what three pieces or so it's not a single piece this whole cab is it? This or? is a single piece. Right, yeah, okay yeah. it is, which is good for leaking and stuff. Correct. It's yep. fiberglass filled. Ah uh, sorry fiberglass each side. Yep. Um, filled with a solid foam. Right yeah. Okay. 
nice. All right, um, anything else we should know about these before? I think everything's, um, we've gone over everything. They're, as they are, they're like you look at them and they're, they're basic, but they've got yep. a lot of the usable things that people need. Yeah, yeah, because so you just pull up the side of the road and bang it, and it sleeps straight away. There's yeah. no fiddling around with winding no, over the... Don't have to open things, poles, the only thing you've got to pull out is this and open your back and put your kitchen out. Yep. yep. So for people who are out in central Victoria, come and see Colin. Colin or Ashley or Ashley. Andrew. Yeah, yep. and they can give you the full lowdown on this product. Of course, yes. uh, So, thank you for your time. Yeah, really thank appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, Look forward to seeing people's comments on them. Yep. Anyway, so yeah, thanks again. Thank you. Okay, so that was a quick look around the uh, Lumberjack Seville. I'm quite impressed. It's a nice looking uh, yeah. camper trailer. Pretty good for the family. Um, two children. Yeah. Um, and, and it's they're full length. They're not three quarters like a lot of them. It's the quite well designed. I like the idea, like Colin was saying, how that they've put. Uh, some decent Australian suspension. I'm not saying anything bad about our suspension, but I like the fact that we've got local support for Australian products as well, to some degree. Yeah, and like this Seville comes with practically everything. Yeah, I'll just pan around and have a look. Follow me around here, McDaddy, while we just have a bit of a look around it. So we can see here, it's it's quite a nice, tidy unit. That's it, locked away. It's got a lot of ground clearance. Uh, it comes with the DA35, like we said, the two gas bottles. This has got the diesel heater. Uh, it's got hot and water and cold water connections all over it. And now, if there's another option people want to look at, which is probably this little Sorrento behind you here, McDaddy, you want to? Yep, we've got the little Sorrento, which we'll come back to some stage and give a good walk through. Yep. Yeah, another compact little camper. Yeah, more for two people. Yep. And then just behind you there, uh, buddy. Right. We've got another smaller one. Oh, look at this little one. On the, uh, the Lumberjack Shio. Right, so, yeah, yeah. We've got a few options. So the, in Wangaratta or in, in the uh, north northeastern part of Victoria. Or well, anywhere where they sell uh, Lumberjack, I suppose, but that's yeah. where we are at the moment, yeah. Yeah, come have a look at their range. And you'll probably find one that does suit you and your family. That's right. Anyway, McDaddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice to finish. Okay, All right. well, uh, we'll sign off here yep. at the Wangaratta Caravans and Marine. Santa? Yep. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Especially if you want to see the other uh, the other versions of these, we'll, uh, let us know what you want to know about them and what you, any questions you have, and we'll try and put them back to the guys here and the ladies here. Yeah. Set the come up with. But overall, not a bad product, mate. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if people want to look at a particular brand of yep. camper trailer or model, just let us know yeah. and we'll uh, try to uh, bring it to you. That's right. Yeah. Yep. If you don't know, we can't help you. That's <laughs> right. Anyway, it must be uh, fine coffee time or fishing time or something. Yeah, yeah we, might, we might go out in the river and see what's relaxing out there. You're going to wear your socks and thongs again? Yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't take the camper with us. So. Oh, geez, wouldn't it be nice, eh, hey, mate? Yeah. yeah. It would be. Alrighty, that's uh, enough from us and uh, you guys have and girls have a great day, great weekend, great year. See you. See you later.